For the following logarithmic function, graph the function, give the domain and range in interval notation, and write the equation of the asymptote. So here we have f of x equals log base 2 of x plus 3. Now, before we jump into drawing a graph, it's probably helpful to think about what the basic graph of a logarithmic function would look like. So a logarithmic function has a vertical asymptote, which is right along the y-axis. And there's a single point on the x-axis, that's one unit in front of the asymptote, where the logarithm changes from growing very rapidly to growing uh, very slowly. So uh, the changes that can happen here with logarithms, if there were any constants added on the outside of the logarithm, that would be a vertical shift. But we don't have any in this case, but there is a value added to the inside of the logarithm. And that's going to be a horizontal shift. And horizontal shifts go in the opposite direction of their sign. So in this case, everything's going to be moved to the left by three units, including the asymptote. And that's a great thing to draw in first. Just move that asymptote three units to the left, and that will get you started. Now, there's no vertical shift, so that point that's one unit in front of the asymptote is still one unit in front of the asymptote, uh, but of course it got shifted to the left by three units as well, because it normally would have been over here. Now, another point that you can count on, because this is a log base two, is if you go up one from this point and over to the right one, that'll give you another point that exists on the logarithmic graph, just so you can kind of get your bearings as to uh, how quickly the function is increasing on this side. Uh, and then the other side, you just draw the graph going down to the asymptote. And that's a great sketch. Now, the domain and range, because we have the graph, we can get the domain and range pretty easily just by looking at the graph. But if you want to memorize some facts, one thing that would be great is to just memorize that the range of a logarithmic function is negative infinity to positive infinity. And that's not going to ever change. The domain is going to be restricted. It's restricted from wherever the asymptote is located, and in this case going to positive infinity because everything's on the right side of that asymptote. And if you'll notice, I'm using a parentheses at the asymptote because we're not uh, including that value. Now, the equation of the vertical asymptote. The equation of any vertical line has the form x equals some constant. And the constant is the x value that the vertical line passes through. And that is at negative 3. So the equation of my vertical asymptote is just x equals negative 3. 